So for ages now, we've been wanting to get out the new Red Pedal Co Tandem, the new board for 2018. And originally we had a sort of plan set for me and my wife Lucy to go away, have a really nice weekend, do a long distance paddle along the coast, camping on the beach along the way. And we were really, really keen for this. But unfortunately the weather window we had on the weekend we had booked, we had childcare all booked in, just wasn't gonna happen. We had onshores, it was raining, it just looked awful. So we had to abandon that idea because we just couldn't get another weekend off child free. So we decided to take a really nice sunny day, change the adventure around a bit and take Izzy, our daughter, along with us on a sort of mini micro sup adventure. And it was really good to do this actually to, in a different aspect of the, the tandem, in, not just from full on touring to sort of more of a family fun touring board as well. So this is a little video blog I've made of that day, but also what I'm doing is I'm going to be talking about the tandem throughout the video as well. So if you're interested in buying one of these or knowing what it's like to paddle, this, hopefully this video will give you a few tips and tricks to see if the tandem's right for you. So we had all the food packed, we had the bags packed, Red Palco luckily lent us all of their sort of regional regional range which actually came in really handy. And also this is the footage here of the bag being loaded up with the tandem in it. So it's nice to know you can carry all of the stuff in a normal backpack. The day was absolutely beautiful, beautiful weather, Izzy was on form and it was definitely sunblock all round that we needed throughout the day. Is here collecting pedals and stuff for the poppies and the ray down the road. Definitely good to keep the kids entertained on these long missions. Yeah. So total bluebird day, lovely clear water, just perfect for this sort of mini sup expedition. Long hot walk down, but it was so nice to have the uh, Red Palico backpack again. So I started off with the wheels at the top and then put the backpack straps on. Really is a great simple system to have on a bag like that. Um, uh, this bag was heavy, it was up near the sort of 20 kilos at the end of it, but with that backpack it was definitely padded enough to carry. And I could still fit through the, uh, the kissing gate, so that's lucky. Yeah. Narrow little goat track to get down, definitely wouldn't be doing this with a hard board. Scrabble your way down, but definitely you're rewarded in the end with an empty beach. We've got the beach to ourselves. Yeah. Fishing nets, absolutely everything. Obviously this is a family micro adventure, so it's more than just paddles in the bag. Izzy's getting pretty good at paddleboarding now. She knows what to do, get the pumps on, do it all up, and even helps pumping it up. Titan pumps, great, obviously, because they can start off with, obviously they're not gonna get much air in it quickly, but you know it's nice to get them involved as much as possible throughout the whole paddleboarding process. Now it does take quite a bit of air, Lucy did carry on and pump this up to 18 psi. Because I carried the board down the cliff, I managed to convince her that she was going to have to inflate the whole board. You're going to go there? You can sit on the cool box if you want. You want to sit up there? Sit up on it. Look at that. That would work, wouldn't it? So some specifications for the Red Paddle Co tandem. It's 15 foot long, it's 34 inches wide, and it's eight inches thick. So that's the eight inches thick that really gives it that stiffness. We pumped this board up to 18 PSI and it was unbelievable how stiff it felt under your feet. Really low space for carrying all of the equipment and also having the handles at the front and the back of the board made it really easy to carry it down to the Where beach. Are we going? On the paddle board. And obviously some of us carrying a lot less than others. Always make sure somebody's got a leash on. It's still a big board, but it's still just as important. We geos up the whole paddle, which is great. So you can follow that. And it's also nice that Red Park have got these waterproof pouches that are attached to the cool bag that are so easy to access for the phone just there. So this is it. First time on the board, all of us, hoping it's all not gonna sort of all just go wrong and Izzy has a meltdown, but it all set off all right. We're in a lovely little sheltered bay. The wind's coming from the left here. So it's light offshores here, but it's really flat and we paddle right up into the corner 
and then basically the wind drops off all together so we're just paddling in a mirror flat beautiful glassy calm conditions first thing we noticed straight away was actually the hardest direction to paddle the red paddle cohen is actually in a cross shore wind because it wants to blow the nose away from the wind it wants to blow you downwind so definitely at this point you're gonna have to work a little bit harder the tandem works really well at going upwind downwind it suffers a little bit when you're going cross wind or just off the wind so that's something definitely we noticed straight away within the first five minutes when it comes to using the tandem if the wind is a little bit stronger Izzy soon got up and got the grasp of it for all three of us standing up which was great but also again she could have because of the width of the board she could easily get down and look around and find crabs and stuff That didn't take long. It's like we paddle from the beach. We've already spotted our first crab. It's so good to get the kids sort of seeing the water out there and being on it and really involved in it as much as possible from a young age. And having a ball like this definitely really ticked that box for us straight away. That's a crab, isn't it? Yep, two more there. Look. We had all our snorkeling stuff, but really today you could do just as much just from the board. Working our way through the little rocky ravines and everything. Again, you can see the glassy water, just really perfect just now. We couldn't quite believe how perfect this day was. Another spider crab here I've spotted. Lots of them at the moment because spider crab breeding season, so they're all coming into the UK waters right now, midsummer. There's a female just sat there catching a few rays, sunbathing. And then there's Izzy sunbathing as well. She soon worked out there's enough room to lie down on this board, so that was the uh, that was the option. But it's great to have that option that they haven't got to paddle, you haven't got to make them hate the experience. They can just lie down and relax. And that's the first time we've had a board this big that we could do that on as a whole family. So we're going to punch up wind to this beach up there. Um, now this was going directly into the wind and actually it was absolutely yeah. fine the tandem punching right into wind and you can get quite a lot of speed up like this and Izzy again lying there doing nothing. What's also great is if you're at the back they just don't know you're paddling or not. It's fantastic. <laughs> Where's the lunch beach? Lunch beach, that way. There it is. Nearly there. As far as paddling is concerned on the tandem, it really is very stable. It doesn't take you long to get used to it as a couple. You don't have to push it very hard. Great for looking for starfish and crabs and fish, isn't it? Yeah. What are you looking for? Sharks. Sharks? <laughs> These little viewing windows are absolutely fantastic. If you haven't got one of these yet, you can buy them in most places. They're really cheap, but the cattle on, I think, sell them. So good for keeping the kids entertained. Um, put it in the water, then they can see down the bottom. They can also talk to you. A fantastic thing to have. Absolute, can't recommend it enough. This keeps Izzy entertained for hours on a pile of board, which is definitely something to have. If you're going to do a long journey, you could do it with a little one, especially with things like this to keep them entertained on the way. What is it? Lovely flat beach. You can only get to this beach by boat or by paddleboard. So really nice to come to this beautiful, pristine area. No rubbish. It's so nice to see the ocean environment in this lovely state. Undo the quick release systems that come with the Red Puddle Co's original systems, very nice. Go up, have a bit of lunch. A lovely, beautiful beach, light winds, completely 
on our own. Quite interesting that day, really, really hot that day. But me and Lucy both had those red Paddleco t-shirts on and actually we were not overcooking in the slightest, which is really surprising. Tide was coming in, having a snooze, and then the board started floating away. Luckily, Lucy rescued it, but that would have been a bit of a sub border disaster. Then, quick bit of rock pooling, get the net out, find some shrimps, before we started to make our way back. Packing up, ready for the return paddle home. Stuff really fits on the board really easy and there is so much room to store stuff. There's loads of way to paddle the uh, the tandem. Definitely we found that probably having the, the setup we found like this was the best. There is so many ways to do it. The girls could sit down at the front, I could stand up. Now we really couldn't believe how stable the tandem was, especially as well with having a child on the front with all of our kit. We must have had 20 to 30 kilos worth of bags as well as Izzy on the front and the board did not feel unstable at all. One thing we did note, definitely the fastest way to turn the board was to, for the person at the front to put like a bow rudder in, which is where you can pull the board around using your paddle. That's way faster than the back person doing a big stroke. Definitely, that's a real tip. Use the front person at the front to use a bow rudder. Very easy, it keeps the board even more stable again, and it just makes the board turn really quickly. Daddy fish. Anything good? Yeah. Just go a little bit so I can paddle alongside you when you come back. But I'm good. There they are. We started to paddle back round and Izzy and Lucy wanted to go for a swim. Shows how stable the board is here. Lucy could easily get changed into a wetsuit. You could just see like using the board as a swimming platform, jumping on and off it, is really easy to do. Having the handles everywhere, really set up for all that sort of stuff. Hey, wake up lazy bones. Wake up little lazy bones. <laughs> Such a relaxing afternoon. I even actually had a tiny little doze <laughs> off at the back there. There is enough room to lie down on this board and actually have a little doze. So it really, for that adventure side of things, I can really imagine sometimes you just want to lie down on the board, have five five minutes to yourself. That is, the stability of the board is unbelievable. Now actually paddling the board on your own is actually very easy to do. It's not that hard at all. You're not going to break any speed records, but definitely it is possible to do. So back again where we started on a little family micro stuff adventure. Remember you can check out this full little paddle we did and the route we did on GeoSup if this sort of thing interests you. Packing the board down really isn't a problem, especially with the double valves at the back there. Gets rid of the air really quickly and rolls up just the same as a normal Red Paddleco Ride 106, to be honest. The downside for us having a beautiful paddle is the walk back up. <laughs> this is the reality of it. <laughs> yeah, amazing paddle. Really nice. Family time, swimming, snorkeling. Now, like 25 degrees. This bag is uh, really good, but. It's heavy still, and we've got a big lift to go up, ah, and it's hot. Anyway, let's do it. No one else is going to no carry it. No one else is going to do it. Come on, Dad. Maybe Izzy will take it. I'm starting to think now I'm glad I didn't bring my spearfishing stuff. Ooh. So back to where we started, up the cliff, a completely knackered, an amazing day, a great family experience, and really, I can't recommend doing this enough and getting the whole family out on the water on one board is a fantastic thing to do.
My general feeling on the Red Paddle Co Tandem is it's a fantastic board and it's a very good price point as it's not as expensive as two Red Paddle Co Voyagers put together. So it is a great package for a young family, a couple, or even somebody wanting a mega, mega fishing board that holds a huge amount of weight. It's a very well made board and it's very easy to use. I really can't recommend the Voyager Tandem enough. A lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun.